Hello and welcome back. So the pagination and the notification links are remaining to edit. So because pagination is a little bit complex, let's start with the notifications here. So let's start with single notification here and let's do that. Let's look for any uh, get variables here which we don't seem to be in possession of. So let's look at, um, let's find all the hrefs first of all. So link here comes from there. Okay. So instead of editing link here, let's edit the links here. So right here from the beginning, I will do that. So I can edit them at once. I'm holding down control. So right here, since this is a PHP, I can just preface it with new, uh, root, prefix with uh, root. And then I will go to hold down control and press the right arrow button to go to the next point. And then here I can remove, just put a slash there and then delete all these guys here id is equal to and i need for all that and that should actually solve the problem however we have this and notif and then we have the notification id right so hold down control while you move between these uh, with an arrow key and then we can obviously uh, do that slash like so okay that ought to do it mm -hmm. okay that uh, looks good enough so let's find some more things we need so like here the images of course wait why are the images showing Okay, so here the images are showing because there's only one item here in the notifications. But if I had put one more thing there, like whatever it is, uh, the images would disappear as they have done now. So let's do it that way so that we see what's what. So here we have, this could be either be this or this. So let's put the root here instead. So that regardless where it passes, uh, there's root there. So let's see what has come up. Okay, so that has come up, but we need to edit here as well. So let's find some hrefs here that we can pick on. There's only one. Let's try some sources. There's one source there. And we need another source right here. Post image. Since this one is being declared right here before being used, we can put root right there. And let's go and find some more sources. So it's only true. So this should work. And there we go. It's working just fine. But now we have, uh, okay, let's look at the links to the single posts. So I've seen your tag. This is the comment that we want to see. So let me click, I've seen your tag. Okay, so uh, things be working fine. Let's see if we can go to the main post. Okay, so uh, goody goody. Things be working. Okay, we're doing good. All right, so so far so good. Uh, these ones are working as well. Now let's deal with the pagination. Let me come back to the timeline right here let's press next page so of course you will see some issues there now the thing is um you see the pagination will be used on multiple pages many many pages and so it's going to be a bit difficult for us to know exactly at what point the pagination will be so for example in 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 here the pagination is is right after you see it could be home like this right and I can remove home and I'll still be on the same page. So which means now the page number could be the very first item. See, if we're on page two, for example. 
So page number will be, it would just be like my book and then slash page two, something like that, right? Or page three. Or it could be that there's home at the beginning there and then it would be my book slash home slash uh, page number, like page is equal to four or something like that. So it keeps changing. And then if I click on uh, one of these posts, for example, and there's pagination here too. And, but here you see that there's my book, single post, and then there's the post ID, and then slash, then we have our page number. So this makes it a little bit uh, complex because for something that will be used universally on multiple pages that may have a different length of URL, we will maintain using the, we'll maintain using the, um, what I want to say, the, the get variable instead so this is what makes it a little bit complex so let's go and see how we can go about doing that so i'll go to my uh, classes here and let's go to functions function there we go so i go to the very top where there is a per uh okay wrong function pagination there okay let's let's see what happens here okay so at this point we're looking for the get page right because page is equal to whatever that is what that page number is that's that's the page number we get so this is why it's like this but then here we are looking for ah okay so this is how we are constructing our our link here hmm Okay, so here what we want to do is um, at the end of the day, what we want to do is to grab the link and put these items there. Let me come back here. Let's test something here. Let me go to the profile, to the home page. Now, if I'm at the home page and I say and page is equal to one or oh, let's say two you see that we are still on the home page so it actually works and it seems we're on page two so it still works if i add the and page there okay so this means all we need to do now is to to construct a proper url right instead of this one that we are constructing here it says url is equal to home and then uh, let me go to comments and see how different this one is. Just hover on the next button and see how weird the the thing is. So it grabs URL and because everything there is inside URL. So it says index.php and then it grabs, puts a question mark and then grabs URL. And okay. So all we need to do here is to concatenate the URL dot, just the get URL. So let me come back here. So remember one thing that, uh, let's come back to home page. Since we are, let's go to the home page and test things from there. Remember that if I echo, I print out the get variable here, just the get like so right there mm -hmm. so let's re all right so you will see that uh, inside the get variable this URL and it has home there right in fact let me remove this and go to index the index page and show you from there because the index page is always being accessed so we can assess the situation from there so I'll paste it anywhere here just so we can be seeing it at the top there. And now if I click on a uh, comment or a post like this, you will see that uh, URL contains the entire link just from my book there. So my up to my book here, that's root. But then after this, everything is contained in one variable. That's uh, this one. So all we need to do is just uh, capture this variable and then at the very end we put our page number there so you get url is what we need so let me go to my functions again i will undo what i have done here 
I will go back to functions. So what was happening here is that uh, we capture our page number that already exists. We initialize our variables and then we are saying get current URL, right? So now this is the process we were using to get the current URL, but this is uh, old. Actually, we can use that because this ends with, no, actually this is the old way of doing things. So what I will do in the spirit of not deleting anything, I will just comment this out and then just put the get variable here, right? Instead of printing it out, let's just do that. And I will do URL because as we saw, the URL contains the actual URL we are on. Now, wait a minute. Let's go back before we even do all this. Uh, let me go back to where is the index page? Where are you index page? So let's test one more thing here. I will refresh the page. But at the end here, I will put and page. So let's see if we get that. So as you can see, because I've put and page at the end there, it's not actually part of URL. It's part of some other get variable here. So this is what is cool about this whole thing because regardless what we add here, this query string will still be separate from anything else. So we can have our page number here, like for example, page is equal to two. So we can cleanly get the page number and we can cleanly get the link we are on. So this is very uh, exciting and good news because it will simplify what we need to do. So I'll go to functions of PHP. So now URL is this, right? But don't forget root at the end, like so. So it's root plus that, which root in this case is this, but we did something else. We removed the index of PHP, so we need that. So I'll, I'd rather get this one, which already has removed the index of PHP. Then we put our question mark. Then here, uh, this whole uh, for each loop here was, um, what it was doing was getting all the variables there and adding them back. What was it? For each get as key as value. Wait a minute. Before I get excited and delete things here. No, actually, this is where we are also adding our page. Key is equal to page number. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I think what we can do here is... Um, since we're going through all the get variables, the only get variable I don't want to uh, have to process is this one. So what I will do is just do a, um, right here, I will say, because this is a loop going through all the get variables. So I'm just going to say if, just for it to check, if um, the key, <clears throat> because it's going through all the keys here, and uh, if you can see here, we have key code page and another key is URL. So I wanted to skip this one. And because we, we might not just have page number here, we might have other uh, keys here. Maybe it will be page is equal to two and notification is equal to three and so on and so forth because we actually do have that on the notifications where and notification is equal to something and page. So we still need this loop. However, it should skip the URL. So if the key is URL like this, skip. So how do you skip a um, how do you skip a loop? You just tell it to continue. You say continue. But if I use break, it means it will break before each. It will stop looping after that point. But continue will tell it to skip this one and loop again. So continue the loop, but skip this particular value. So I think that should actually work let me refresh the page let's go here and as you can see there's single post and then there's page is equal to three at the very end so let's try that and we are good actually if i go back page two 
and page one and what else page zero let's try the home page and let's go down here what do we have home question mark and equals to very good very good back and back okay so our pagination is uh, working just fine top notch so everything is good now we are done with our uh, url editing so that we have clean urls now the only thing we might want to do is you see this uh, tag name here we might want to put it in the profile because if i click on somebody's profile you see there's a profile and then there's a number at the very end not very descriptive of mary but it could be cool if we had slash profile slash mary at the very end so we know it's uh, mary's profile there okay so let's look at uh, just what we've done so clean urls done let me put a star there so all these uh, upgrades i was talking about we are almost there it's just uh, displaying who liked a comment without going to another page i think with the knowledge i've given you so far you can do this one on your own this is exactly like uh, updating um updating this right there you and i and wh whatever that is only thing is you can when somebody clicks like the way they click the like button you update another div which is hidden but then you unhide it when uh, once you unhide it you display who actually liked the oh actually this reminds me this link is broken here it's a good thing i tried to click on it okay all right so we've seen those problems and uh let me come back here so what's remaining now is messages and forgot password now forgot password you can do this on your local server to send emails but it's a very cumbersome process which i don't want to go into it might just end up confusing you so instead what we will do is we'll create a free uh online server so we can um we can add this feature forgot password this will give us a chance to also see how to upload your website to a, an actual live server so we'll do that there so the next thing we'll do here now is messages so make sure that uh, we do the messages part and then once we are done with that we can upload it and do the forgot password part okay guys this has been awesome i will see you in the next video